searched everywhere for the missing forest worker. But it wasn't until five days later that Walton reappeared in a nearby town. I was lying face down outside in the dark and there was a light above me. And I saw the bottom of the craft there right before it shot up into the sky. When details of Travis Walton's close encounter were revealed to authorities, they dismissed the accounts of the young man's disappearance as a possible hoax. But researchers say the Travis Walton case is one of the most credible abduction stories on record. Stories of alien encounters, abductions to different realms, are as old as mankind itself. Something truly enigmatic has been happening with us and with our ancestors. And when you look at the modern accounts of abductions, you find that they are one and the same. Washington, D.C., December 1969. The United States government suddenly terminates Project Blue Book. The Air Force investigation into claims of UFO sightings and contact with extraterrestrials. No more than 12,000 reports were investigated over a span of 20 years. The government publicly concluded that most cases were misunderstood natural phenomena. But inside the organization, Project Blue Book astronomer J. Allen Hynek had been creating a system of classifying the data he believed provided scientific evidence of alien encounters. Hynek was actively uh in charge of some of the investigations. And he realized early on, after amassing so many cases and having a database, that he needed to organize it and classify these types of reports. So he came up with the Close Encounter 1 through 3 classification. According to Hynek's classification system, a Close Encounter of the First Kind, or CE1, is described as witnessing a UFO within 500 feet. CE2 is when a UFO leaves behind a physical trace of its presence, and CE3 includes seeing occupants within the UFO. Dr. J. Allen Hynek invented these three terms, which basically detailed the distance of the person from the UFO and the nature of the experience. It was basically designed as terms so that, you know, we would have a good understanding of whether somebody saw an object at a distance in the sky, further close up, a UFO on the ground. Uh, close encounters of the fourth kind is that the occupants of the... Hi, you guys. This is Timothy Porter here, a.k.a. Timberland, a.k.a. the MS guy. And you guys know I'm going to bring you this ancient alien stuff the best I could. So... We sitting right here because you know I used to watch the Project Blue Book show that they had, which pretty much was disclosing a little bit of things that wouldn't really tell that much. But right here on Ancient Aliens, they just talked about the Project Blue Book and, and Hunic. And man, <clears throat> I'm telling you, the government needs to come on, disclose everything, and let us know what's going on. It's really not the aliens are here to bother us they are here to help us and help our humanity get better and help us be better as a being on this planet and so i don't understand why the government is not complying with anything but i thought i would show you guys this and then comment on it a little later because most of the time when i try to show you guys this stuff these people try to cut off my I gotta cut off my channel and cut the videos that I show all the time. But this way, you can understand what the aliens are doing. They're not, they're not here to harm us at all. They might take you up there and do some tests. Maybe they need some tests on you to see how you're going to be on this planet later. Or how your kids will be or something like that good. But don't keep cutting my videos, man. And then, I'm about to cash out, but I need to send a big shout out to my man Tyler and the security team. I haven't seen you guys 
maybe for about a year or two since the COVID hit and I need you guys to push it back in, man, because we need all the information to be disclosed out there, man. So if you can do that, Tyler, I would gladly appreciate it. It's good seeing your videos, and, man, you need to get back out there. So this your man, Timothy Porter, a.k.a. Timberland. About to cash out. Peace.